Hello everyone, Chris again. Uh, some pretty exciting news from the world of Android. Um, 2.1 Hero was released today, and that's kind of a big deal if you're um, an Android user because, I mean, most of you probably didn't even know that Hero 2.1 was going to be released, and this is not even too long after the announcement of Android 2.0 and it being released on the Droid. They said it couldn't be done, and it's it's been done. It's already been done, done, did. That's awesome. I'm gotta give it to HTC and them doing the whole uh, hero thing and skinning it and making it look way better. So if you guys have Android 2.0, that's cool, I guess. That's old news. Now there's Hero 2.1, and if we can have this on our G1, then we will one up all those Droid users. And I don't want to start no beef. You know, I'm just saying, like, we'll, we'll have a pretty cool phone, and the G1 is still still hanging on. So let's just get to it. I'm going to show you guys the ROM right now, and in its early, early state, but, you know, it's still pretty exciting, so let's go. Okay, here it is, Android 2.1 Hero, the Hero Edition, I guess you can say. I'm um, going to walk you through the setup. There, there's uh, cool little changes and little things that they've done to it that are a little bit different now, so wanted to show you guys that. Uh, it has a progress bar at the bottom, which is kind of neat. It shows you like how far along you are on the setup process in case you were ever wondering. I just think it's cool that they did change some stuff about it. Um, they have a sync data, the different sync data options, so when you're um, trying to sync your contacts and stuff, you can make it so that it doesn't do it when you're on 3G or 2G or something, because I guess that can drain a lot of battery. Some people like to turn that off completely, but now you have the option to, whenever you connect on Wi-Fi, that it'll start syncing your stuff, which only takes like a few seconds when you're, um, when you're on Wi-Fi. Or you can just put never, never sync my data or something, so that's kind of kind of cool now. They're giving you some options and cool new little picture there. thought that was pretty snazzy. That's just the GPS stuff. And moving along, I am going to skip setting up an account because it doesn't really work. The sync isn't working, so no big deal. And... Finish. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see one of the cool Android widgets, the power control from the old Android stuff, is skinned to look like Hero, which is pretty awesome. It looks really, really beautiful and amazing. I'm really glad that HTC did that because I never liked to use it on Hero because it was so ugly. I don't even like using it on regular Android because it was so ugly and weird looking. So it's, it's really cool that they, um, they did that. They didn't really skin or change any of the other Android widgets. Calendar is the same, um, Facebook, all that stuff looks just like the plain white, YouTube, even search right now, but maybe, I think search normally, they have a, a hero skin for it, so I just think it wasn't um, included on this build here, so not really too big of an issue. This is just a preview after all. This ROM doesn't really come with too many widgets, there's nothing in settings, it does have messages, mail, and bookmarks, and those are all the typical hero stuff that we've seen before. The um, the ROM itself is running pretty fast, pretty well for, for it not having apps to SD or um, enabling to swap or any of that stuff, so I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. They do have the transparent background um, and the uh, pull down bar, which is really cool. I don't know if that was just a little touch that they added or um, if that actually comes just normal Hero 2.1. Uh, let's see what else we got here. The apps that it comes with, there's not very many. You're going to be missing a lot of, um, I guess, some some ones that you really, really actually need, like contacts. Contacts is in here. Uh, there are some other ones that I just can't seem to remember right now. A lot of the icons have changed. They they updated some of the um, the older ones with the the Eclair, the Eclair 2.0 icons. Some of them look a little bit different though, like messages has this weird little bubble with the blue and it's kind of a lower resolution than the rest of them uh, including browser browser has a new icon and it's a little bit different resolution and it's kind of not not so hot but i'm sure they'll fix that in the final release of this rom or later somewhere down the line but not really too big of an issue right now settings it's got the 2.1 settings so you got the cool little icon pictures next to the um next to the wording and uh, all the different settings and stuff, so that's really cool. Let's see what else they got here. Um, I don't want to try to do too much because I'll, uh, there's a lot of stuff missing and I get a lot of force closes and stuff, but let's see what we got. Let's go to applications. I'm going to see if they have that task manager. 
running services. But yeah, so GTalk is on, touch inputs on, tells you how long it's been running. Um, you can kill it if you want it, I think. Set locale. Uh, basically this shows like the running service. So I think that's really cool. One of the cool things about Android 2.0, and this is even better, this is Android 2.1, so yeah. A lot of talk about how G1 wasn't going to get this on at all through through uh, T-Mobile or anything, and it's, it's actually a carrier issue. It's not really so much um, the the HTC doesn't really have much to do with it. I, I was been doing a lot of reading about it and stuff, but I guess they're saying hardware-wise, the G1 just isn't going to be able to handle 2.1, or at least the update. The file is going to be too big for it to handle in its um, data partition. But I don't know. I think it's a lot of BS and. I feel like they just want you to upgrade your handset to something new and they just want people to get off the G1 already, but we ain't gonna do it. We ain't gonna do it. This is pretty rad. And this is Hero 2.1, so we've upped Android 2.0 with Hero 2.1 and this is awesome. It's running on the G1 pretty well for not having anything optimized or, again, not using Linux Swap or Apps to SD or anything like that. Um, to show you some of the other cool apps that are on here. YouTube, it's YouTube 2. Point, YouTube 2.0, point so it's the new YouTube. If you flash anything new, they I think everyone's including the new Facebook and the new YouTube and all the new stuff, so uh, that's not really too big a deal. Browser is cool. Okay, so here's the new browser. It's pretty cool. They got this, uh, the I guess the status status bar or progress bar or whatever. It's cool because it's like glowing now and it's got like little sparklies around it. And I think they used to show that before, but it was at the bottom and that was only in a couple of hero videos, but all the hero ROMs didn't have it, so I don't know if they took that out eventually. But anyways, it's cool. It's like moving. It looks it looks really, really rad now, the cool animation, but kind of chugging, I guess. So yeah, it's got the 2.0 browser. Normally the Hero browser is full screen anyway, which is really cool, but at least now it's got the little, you still see the URL and it fades away when you scroll up or down or whatever. Really cool. Really, really cool. Let's see what else is packing. Bookmarks. Here's what the bookmarks look like. I guess they have this new stuff down at the bottom, most visited. You can just slide it along. HTC, does, their touch flow interface or whatever you want to call it, the Sense UI, it's just, it's just really, really awesome. And especially with Android, it's like the best looking, most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. So it's really, really cool. Market doesn't work. I can't show you that because it doesn't work and I can't get Sync to work right now. Auto Rotate is working pretty well on this. Like, it's actually pretty quick, surprisingly. I don't know what happens if I do it on the home screen. Oh. oh, wow, okay, this is pretty cool. This is something I haven't seen before, but you can see like some of the stuff is trying to be, I guess, squished on the screen, so it needs to be resized, but man, I've never seen Hero with an open keyboard or in landscape mode. This is kind of cool. Totally tripping me out right now. Okay, well, that's, that's really, really awesome. I know a lot of people are going to freak out about that. It's really, really cool. Okay, so I just hit a button and I don't even know what I pressed, but apparently I just did a zoomed out view of all my screens and I don't know. Oh, that's a total trip. Okay, so that's really cool. Again, this ROM is really, really early, really, really rough. Um, it's basically meant for nothing more than just to get a taste of what Hero 2.1 is going to be all about and stuff, so uh, not, nothing you can really use or... I guess even like even for a day or whatever it's basically just so you can get a preview of what's what's to come and all that I'm gonna try to make a phone call because it does have a cool little 3d Android guy I, I love that guy and he's back and now he's um it's 3d looking it's pretty cool okay so I guess that's it thank you all for watching um, please comment rate subscribe and I'll see you guys soon